chapter three of The Awakening, Léant Pontelier returns quite late from his evening at Klein's Hotel. And although Edna is half asleep, he gossips and tells stories <laughs> as he empties out his pockets. He becomes annoyed by her scant response. He forgot the presents he promised his children, but he checks on them as they sleep. When Raoul stirs restlessly in his sleep, Mr. Pontellier tells Edna the boy has a fever and berates her for being an inattentive mm. mother. He demands she attend to the child. She finally gets up and checks on the boy. Meanwhile, her husband lights and smokes a cigar and then goes to bed. When her husband is asleep, Edna begins to cry. She rocks herself in the rocking chair, overcome with an indescribable oppression. In the morning, Mr. Pontelier prepares to leave for the city where he will do business for a week. He gives Edna some money and says goodbye to the children. A few days later, Edna receives presents from him in the mail, fruits and candies. As she shares these with her friends, they agree Mr. Pontelier was the best husband in the world. Edna's awakening to her true self is not a sudden realization of her individuality, but rather a slow-growing sensation marked by milestones, smaller awakenings that culminate in a greater awareness of self. This chapter describes the first of several such moments. It follows a literal sleep and a literal awakening. Edna's sleeping when her husband returns from Klein's hotel, and he becomes upset that she isn't listening fully as he speaks doesn't occur to him to be attentive to her needs. He notices only that she isn't being attentive to his. In a mean-spirited maneuver, he finds a reason for her to get out of bed, and he harasses her about it until <clears throat> she obeys. It's clear her husband has treated her similarly on other occasions, but this time, she reacts differently. She feels hurt and understands on an emotional level <laughs> that she's being oppressed. In time, this internal knowledge will have an external effect. For now, it's simply a dim awareness, and Edna's life mostly returns to normal the following day.